so, so pumped to be filming this video today. Before we get started, I do want to apologize for the last video of the grocery haul. I filmed on my phone and I don't, I'm still figuring out all the kinks and it was, it was just a bad frame. Um, so I do apologize for that, but it's all fixed now and I hope that this video is great and I hope that you guys enjoy it. So without further ado, let's get started. I have 13 products to share with you guys today. Um, and these are 13 products that I love now and I think that they're going to continue to be something that I am just obsessed with reaching for on a daily basis throughout the fall. There's a few oldies in here and there's a few just like OGs. But the first product that I have today is this Morphe highlighter. It's just a traditional black casing. You open it up and it's a lot. Like this is a good size highlighter for a singlet. Um, this color is beautiful and I think I got this one at Ulta and they have four other colors. This one's in the color extra. <laughs> How fitting. Um, but I love it. I wouldn't, I don't think I'll ever be able to use any other hider, hi, <laughs> any other highlighter besides this one because it is so good. Um, but yeah, this one's only $12 too. The next thing that I have is also for the face, and this is going to be, this has been, will be in everybody's favorite video if they ever do one. This is just iconic, and it's the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Um, this is an OG, so this concealer is just awesome. It has like the big applicator on it for those of you who have never seen it, and it's just like a lot of product, and this concealer is the bomb diggity like you can't beat it so if you haven't tried it you should the next favorite that i have for you guys is the rodin and fields enhancements lash boost it's this it comes in this packaging and then you pull it out and it comes in this um it has a brush applicator and basically what you do is you just put it on the tips of your lashes like right there like eyeliner and just soak that baby on and you do it right before you go to bed and I just loaded it all up for a while until I could see a difference in my lashes um, and for those of you who don't know I used to have lash extensions but even before that I used to wear falsies on the daily um, and so then I got this because I tried the lash extensions and I just had a really like gross habit of plucking them out when I would get like anxious or nervous and it just it bothered everyone, but I don't know why I did it. It was just like a very bad habit. But anyways, I tried that, and it wasn't for me, obviously. So I got the Rodin and Fields Lash Boost, and I absolutely love it. I've seen a great difference. This is just like my natural lashes with some mascara on it. And it's just, it's to die for. So if you don't have it or you're scared to make such a big purchase because it is kind of expensive, don't be it's totally worth it this is not in my favorites but if you are looking for um some falsies that you want to wear because you don't want to splurge and get the lash boost and you're not um happy with your lashes which you should be because you're beautiful but if you're not i do recommend the ardell wispies this is what i used to use it's the perfect combination between natural and dramatic and i used to wear these on the daily and i think that they're the best um so yeah, that's just a recommendation. My next favorite is just a drugstore um, mascara. I don't know why. I've just been very into like the drugstore stuff lately. So this is the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume. Um, and it is the waterproof one. I'm just going to give you guys a tip. I heard this whenever I was younger. If you don't have curly eyelashes on their own, when you curl them, you need to be using a waterproof mascara because it keeps your lashes curled. I know that it's a pain in the butt to try to take this off at the end of the night, but that's what Neutrogena makeup wipes are for, girl, because waterproof mascara is going to make you look like you've got the best lashes around, and that's the only thing I'm wearing right now, and I think my lashes look pretty dang good. Um, this is the last beauty product, and I've used this brand of makeup for a very long time. It's drugstore. Um, it's just pretty good quality for the price that you're paying, and it's the NYX Butter Gloss. So NYX has an awesome makeup line, um, and I love, love, love NYX's makeup line, um, but their lip products are actually very good for the price. Like, this is only $5. Um, I guess I can go ahead and put it on for you guys because I didn't put it on before this video. It's just like a very pretty nude gloss. 
The only thing. Woo! The only thing about it is it's very sticky. So it'll stay on your lips for a long time, but you better not be eating or drinking after it because it is not going to be a pleasant experience for you. Um, this is in the color Terry Me Sue, so if you're looking for it, it's maybe it'll focus. There we go. In Terry Me Sue. So highly recommend that. The next product is actually a good transition from beauty products to skincare products. I'm used to being tan and since I've been in college, I just haven't had time to go in, enjoy the sun like I would normally on a regular basis. And so right now during the fall, I still want to be the perfect tan that I can be in the L'Oreal Sublime Bronze in the color medium is really helping me get there this has a it's just like a squirty thing like this and the product comes out brown and it has a little bit of sparkle to it um but i love it so Haley and i use this and Haley wants to make sure that she's mentioned in the favorites video so she's gonna be the number one favorite so just so everybody knows Haley included Haley's a favorite um, anyways, so this is a good tanning bronzer. We got this before we went to formal, um, in the spring just to tan and it was so good. She said she tried it on her ankles and the next day we were walking somewhere and I was like, Haley, your ankles are brown. Like they are tan girl. And she's like, no way. Um, so it didn't take long to develop at all. I normally shower at night and then put it on right afterwards and just kind of let it sit before I climb into bed. But I've never had any problems with fallout or it rubbing on my white sheets or anything like that. So I would highly recommend this. It's just from Target, so it's very affordable. Um, the next product is actually a product that Jacob introduced me to. Since being in college, I have noticed an increase in the amount of breakouts I have. Obviously, probably stress-related because, let's be real, college is stressful. So this stuff, we actually had a disagreement about. It's the Rapid Clear Stubborn Acne Neutrogena Face Wash. Um, so the first couple times that I had breakouts while Jacob and I were dating, he was telling me like he would just open it up and squirt it out and dab a little bit on his finger and then dab it in the spot and rub it in and be done. And this is actually a face wash. So on the back, it says that you should put it on your face, rinse your face thoroughly, all that good stuff, the basic face washy thing. I do not use it like that. And the best outcome that I've had from this product is simply by squirting some out let me see if I can get this. Squirting some out, dabbing it on your finger like this, putting it directly on the breakout, rubbing it in, and leaving it alone. That's what this stuff is bomb at. Neutrogena, but I think it's like $9 from Target, but it is a miracle worker. Let me just tell you. Okay, so the next favorite that I have is the, it's a body wash. It's the St. Ives Even and Bright Pink Lemon and Mandarin Exfoliating Body Wash. Obviously, I love it. It's almost out. Um, this product, this body wash, has left my skin feeling like it never has before. And it literally evens out per imperfections on your legs. It makes them feel smooth. Your arms, even like your chest right here, ladies. Like, you know sometimes when you sweat and you're working out and stuff, it gets a little rough. Like, this stuff is the perfect amount of exfoliating where it doesn't feel like super rough on your skin but it's still getting the job done. So highly recommend this. That's all I really have for skincare products. The next three products are hair products. This is probably super basic of me, but the Batiste Dry Shampoo, I get the Sassy and Daring Wild with the Cheetah Bottle. This stuff smells so good in your hair, and girl, you can go like three days without washing your hair with this, so pick it up. Um, the next thing is these scrunchies. I don't know if it's just like here in College Station or what, but scrunchies have just kind of um, taken off, I guess, and we all wear them at work and stuff, so it's super fun, um, but I got these, and it has also a pale pink color one that's missing because I always wear it, but these are really nice. I got these for $6 at Ulta. Um, I'll link them below, but these are really, really fun. Um, I also got these two little hair pieces. They're just like headbands. Um, it came with a pink one and a black one. I think it, I think they were a little bit more expensive, probably like $10 from Ulta. But it's very shimmery, like very in and hip. And like, I just think they're so cute. I haven't worn them yet because I haven't really like figured out how. But I don't know. 
like that's cute and I don't know I'm just gonna drop this down below but I kind of want to go for a middle part let me know what y'all are thinking I don't really know this is the second to last product but while Jacob and I were at Target the other day I picked up this candle and it's the Febreze brand if you know me you know I love candles but this smells so good and I all I did was take the packaging off because it didn't come with the lid it just had like a paper cardboard thing that said like whatever scent it is like autumns and leaves or something like that and I just took it off and it's made my whole room smell freaking good so I haven't lit it yet but this candle smells amazing and I'm so excited for it, it has me so ready for fall let me just show you guys well let me show you all the guys <laughs> Let me show you guys the last product and then I'll show you my new little pumpkins I got from TJ Maxx. Okay, so my last thing that I have on here is just a pair of shoes. And these shoes I got, they're kind of old school. And I don't know, I just have been reaching for them a lot lately because they're easy to just like slide on and go out of the house. And they pretty much match with like any outfit. Um, but it's just my van sneakers. They're the platform ones at the checkers. And I literally love these so much. They just match with like a t-shirt or if you want to do like something more trendy like I don't know they just go with everything and I'm a really big fan so definitely worth the money for those I'm just so excited so I have to show you guys these but I bought these at Dillard's yesterday um they're Sam Edelman I don't know if you guys are familiar with that but they're Sam Edelman they are at Dillard's <sighs> a moment of silence So cute. These are, that's all I have for you guys for the favorites video. I am going to show you guys these pumpkins because I'm freaking obsessed. <laughs> so cute. Who is ready for fall? This girl. Okay, anyways. So that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed my current favorites video. Um, all the links are going to be down below. So please go get them. Stock up, girl. It's all going to be great for this fall. And it's going to be great for all the seasons. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to follow my Instagram to see all of this stuff in action. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for um, updates. Subscribe to me so you can get... Um, notifications whenever I post because I'm that annoying girl but I don't really care um but yeah don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below if you have any questions if you have any videos